So much has happened since I last saw you. I lost my hammer, like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. And then I went on a journey of self-discovery. Where I met you. A new Freya has a right to Asgard, and her name is Hela, and she believes that the throne of Asgard should be hers. And Thor wants to stop her, but the problem is he has been captured by Ravagers to join a gladiator show without his hammer, a new haircut, a caper's whip, and him trying to stop this thing called Wagawag, which means in North mythology, the end of all things. When it comes to a Marvel movie, there's one question that a lot of people are going to ask, and that is, is it better than that last Marvel movie I saw? Is it better than Avengers? Is it better than, than the original Thor? Is it better than Winter Soldier, or Civil War, or Guardians, or Avengers, or Spider-Man, or Doctor Strange, who, whatever your favourite Marvel movie is? This movie is a feel-good movie, and that's great. You know, a feel-good movie, personally for me, is you can go to a theatre, pay X amount of dollars, and you are going to feel good. You're going to be a vester with the characters. You're going to laugh with the characters. You're going to cry with the characters. You're going to care about the story. You're going to see fantastic visuals, which is clearly to all the comic book people out there, there are clearly inspirations by Jack Kirby. If you don't know who Jack Kirby is, because the one percent of people who see these movies are the comic book audience. Um, Jack Kirby was the original artist of Thor, and anything wacky that you see in a comic book movie is probably inspired by his work, so... And also, you will see some decent action. We have a good villain, we got Hela, played by Cam Blanchett, and also good that her performance is paid off by an interesting character, that you understand the motivations, you understand it's, it's always nice when you have a fleshed out villain in a Marvel movie because that has always been a common threat. There's always been a common complaint with Marvel movies, which is like everything's great as it's a villain. Like Ronan or Marikin. Like, hello is no Marikin. Another big thing that a lot of people are interested with is, um, is Hulk. Yeah, Hulk is in a Thor movie, which is interesting and for a lot of comic fans, once again, uh, because, you know, comic fans are, you know, the 1% of people who see these movies, it is probably the closest that you guys will ever see to a Planet Hulk movie, which is a classic, like, under, like, it's kind of like being, like, the Hulk story, where, like, Hulk goes to space, he becomes, it's Gladiator, it's, it's Hulk in space, and it's Gladiator, that's basically the story is, basically. Hulk wheezes into the plot really good and how he reacts with the Thor characters is let's say this is not strange that his um there's a character who's been nothing in the Avengers and he shows up in a Thor movie he doesn't feel out place and that's good and you had some really good comedic moments with Hulk. A few criticisms that I have with this film is there are certain characters in this film that get killed off and they just get zero screen time. They're, they're only there for like five seconds and the characters that we have seen in previous films and it's just you just wish you had a little bit more time with them to be like when the death does happen you feel more of a like no versus like oh that's a shame. Thor Ragnarok once again is just a good time in the movies, you're going to get some good feels, and uh, you you just feel good seeing this film. He's a fighter. Here we go. Yeah. I'm not a queen or a monster. I'm the goddess of death. What were you the god of again? 